All right, for all those people out there that have been making their own handheld gimbals, uh, brushless gimbals out of uh, the ones that go on like quadcopters and stuff like that, um, I've seen some pretty good ideas out there. This one's mine. Um, I kind of worked on it for a little while. Uh, here it is. I think it looks very similar to a professional model, except for the fact that you know you can see the conduit boxes. But anyway, pretty much this is a central conduit box, the three holes on the top, and I took the conduit. Um, the tubes and the elbows to you know to come off the sides these are ATV grips um, you're gonna have to tape them around a little bit to make them fit uh, nice and snug but they're nice and sticky um, essentially what I did is I took um, the gimbal off my blade 350 QX2 you can use the elbow pieces that GoPro uh, gives you uh, with your GoPro and put the sticky back on the top now in order to run these this is the GB200 gimbal I think it's very, very similar uh, as far as quality goes to the Zenmuse, um, which I also have, but it's a little bit overrated, pretty expensive. Um, so I use this one. In order to run this properly, you have to run a 5.1 volt constant. So what you need to put in line from the battery to the switch is a, a 5.1 volt RC BEC. Um, and they're programmable. Most of them come factory default. The one I use is from Castle. Uh, factory default is 5.1 volts exactly what I need. So I put it inside the box, ran it to a switch. You know, illuminates, looks kinda cool. Anyways, um, also as well, there's these little rubber grommets that go in here for anti-vibration. You need to remove those. Those are way too soft and you're gonna get the jello-y, wobbly effect um, when you're filming, when you're walking around. Uh, you're, so what I did is I got these uh, blue spacers. They're, they're a hard rubber spacer, but they're still a little squishy. Um, you get them from Jerry's. Uh, I think I paid 16 cents a piece for them, and you cut them right in half, so you only need two. Um, once I bolted those down in there, um, it's not nearly as bad, um, so I can go like this, just fine, without the gimbal just sliding off like they normally do with those little balls. I'm using the uh, E-Flight battery, 11.1 volt. I tested it. Um, con staying on, it stays on for three and a half days, so that lasts you a long time. Um, Pretty much what you do is run the BC, put it inside, hook to the switch, and here you go. I'll show you uh, uh, how it uh, works. Make sure to keep it nice and level when the for the uh, gimbal to initialize. Let's give it a second. There we go. It's initialized. Okay, there it is. Works beautiful. Yes, it is compatible with the GoPro Hero 4. The GoPro Hero 4 weighs, um, I think it's like 80 something grams, and these were 70 something grams. But these are, uh, it's a, it works actually a lot better, it's a lot more stable. But uh, here's my version of it. Um, it costs less than 25 bucks uh, to do, and usually you got a little glowing thing on the top. But uh, pretty much, that's there it is. Um, hope this uh, works out for you.